good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Dana, and today we're going to be looking at our AES-50 ports for our inputs. We're going to be going over ports A, B, and C. And if you've noticed here, I'm in the mixer view. I'm in channel 17 through 32. We come back up to the mixer view here. And we want to assign input 25 to the AES port A. So if we click on this and we come up here at the top, we click here. All we have to do is click right here. As you can see, our source group here, if I can switch whatever I want to, this is what it would probably normally look like right here. So what I'm going to do is come up here, just like I said, we're going to pull from our AES 50 ports. So we've got our A, B, and C right here. They're all the same, guys. Once you learn how to do one of these, you know how to do all of them. So if you notice, it says C right there, and that stands for the AES-50C port. We've got 48 input options per AES-50 port. That gives us a grand total of 144 inputs that we can choose from just from our AES-50s. So if you visualize how you want your stage to look, you can go AES-50A, stage left, B could be center stage, and then C could be stage right. However you want to configure this. Once you know what's up there and where you're going to have everything placed, your keyboards, your drummer normally always in the center, guitarist, vocalist, violinist, regardless, once you get your plot laid out, you simply come up here and you assign what you want for these inputs. Now, again, I'm going to use my sound bullet. And as I turn it on, you can see right there, it's coming into my AES-50C port, input number one. All I've got to do is click that. As you can see, the signal instantly comes down to this channel. So once I can do that, I can say, okay, this is going to be for my bass player. I sit here and click. I come up, name and color, bass. Give it an icon. And there it is. So it's just that simple. You see, as I raise it up, that's what it sounds like. That when this goes in, all you have to do now, we can do this on all of these. If we go to our inputs, we don't want to come from the C port. We want to come from the A port. Pick one. Now, if we, as you can see this one, it says one left and two right. That's because we're in stereo here. See what happens when we choose mono? Watch what happens if we use our mid side. That's what it says right here. That A1 slash M. A2 slash S, and that stands for mid-side. So again, if we wanted to pull a stereo input from this into channel 26, that's what we would select right there. Once we do, we can come up here and name it. Keys. Okay. Now, I don't have any signal over here on this particular one. But as you can see, guys, it is so simple now to come up and say, okay, now I want this one to come in for whatever reason. You know, it's going to be my center stage. It's going to be my kick drum. So you go, okay, that's what I want. You come here, name, close. The key to this is to actually have a plot plan. That way you can go through and be able to label your AES-50 inputs and connect the dots. Okay? We'll see you on the next one.